You know, before I pressed record, I sat down and thought so much about what I wanted to say in this video. And even now, it's still not completely coming to me because I never thought I would make this video. Yet here we are. I am asking you all, should I play the Senrin Kagura series? I'm asking this video for a lot of reasons. The, I guess the primary one being because I am interested, but this is so far, actually this is probably like the furthest from games that I usually play. If I think about even how I got here, I got here because an anime reference, my favorite game series, you know, Sonic of course. And then I got to the end of that anime and I saw an interesting twist villain, blue haired admittedly. Like I always say that, I say Neptune kept me in through the anime. But Ray made me want to play the games, and now that I think about it, it's kind of ironic. For that very same reason, I started seriously considering the series when I started playing Yumi. But also, people told me that the story, contrary to what you would expect from a series that's known for what it's known for, is actually pretty good? Or, this is part of the reason why I'm making this video. Without spoiling, I would like those of you who know to tell me, you know, is the story worth playing? Without, Because I know there's a good chance the series might never be finished. I know that when I'm going in here. But I am still interested. Another reason I'm making this video is because I'm not sure how many people even knew that I was considering it. Because people may not have watched the crossover. But then when they hear that I'm actually going to play the games proper, they might be interested and then come in and weigh their thoughts. Or who knows, maybe this will just catch some random Simran Kagura fans. Because apparently when I'm checking the statistics for the videos, a lot of people found the videos by searching Simran Kagura. So that's interesting. But also what got me was the gameplay itself of Neptunia X Simran Kagura Ninja Wars. Simply put, I love the gameplay. The only issue that I had with it, and I was going to mention it in, this re in the review, is that it got repetitive by the missions. It had you do some basic missions that the Neptunia series is known for. I'm not sure if the Simran Kagura series has that. In fact, the little tip is that I got one, there's way more characters, which might, you know, have a lot more battle styles, so you can mix it up more. Uh, and two, apparently the combat was better. Like people said this combat that I was playing was slow. So I want to ask you all who know, you know, how was the combat? You know, what would you think versus what I played versus the actual games. I'm curious about that. But then I'm also just thinking about, you know, if I do try it, there are obviously some things I have to consider. One is I was trying to get away from solely doing games like the Neptunia series. You know, I tried Code Vein, I tried Nier Automata, and most famously, I think, I tried Persona. Persona seemed to have been doing well, at least when it came to Persona 5. So I was thinking about changing on to a Persona game, but mixing a game like Senrin Kagura in with the Persona series is... That's quite a thing. Not to mention, the whole reason they weren't in their full form in Ninja Wars is because they're being toned down. Like, companies are cracking down on fan service, and that includes YouTube, of course. So that is another thing that I have to consider. And of course, views are a thing as well. But currently now, the games, all of them, from what I can see on Steam, are 60% off. And bottom line is I am interested. But for me, it's more of a now or never kind of thing. Because now I've played a game that I can kind of lead off of. You know, I can say with a legitimate excuse, I was interested because of the gameplay and the characters. And yes, I'm also aware that Yumi isn't in the first game, if I didn't make that clear. Like, that doesn't matter. I'm, I'm just saying Yumi was that thing that made me say, okay, I got it. Like, Ray wasn't in the first Hyper Dimension of Junior game, right? Ray was in the third. That didn't matter to me. I was still interested in just playing the games up until that point. Which, by the way, if you could also tell me the order that I should play the games, if I do decide to do a whole, um, you know, the entire series. Because... Like I said, they're cheap right now, and, well, anyways, that's neither here nor there. 
it might end up that I only try the first game. I try three episodes or seven episodes, see that many people aren't messing with it, and I leave, because that's another thing. I'm wondering if um, the game solely being in Japanese would also affect viewership, because I've been wondering about that, if that if that's going to make people worry. And if you're thinking this game is going to replace all the other games I said I'm going to finish, no, it's not. I would pay it at a slower pace initially because it's not a new game, it's an old game, so I can take my time and play it. Unless I see a lot of people like me, then I'm like, okay, well, yeah, I might as well upload uh, more frequently. But I'll still try to get the other games finished as well. Or I might not try it at all. I'm trying to just get a feeling, see, you know, where everybody's headspace is. Because like I said, I'm... I am very interested, and this is probably the most interested that I will get. But if you guys think it's not for me, you know, you think I won't like it, you think I should move on to something else, mainly, my main thing in this case is Persona 4 Golden. Of course, I'm going to try to finish Coat Vein as well, but if that is your thought process, then of course, let me know. And I, I will be starting Persona 4 Golden up pretty soon. Um, I'm going to actually make a separate video on that, so if you're here for wondering why I'm not talking about that, it's going to be its own video. But with that being said, let me know what you all think down in the comments below. Even if you're just, you know, a long time subscriber and you don't barely have any idea of the series, I just like to hear what everybody would have to say because I'm trying to make a decision. And once I make that decision, can't go back. So let me know what you all think down in the comments below and I will see you all next time.